Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and today we are going to talk about how to pick out the perfect kitty condo or cat tree. And I'm sure a lot of you have been like me in the past where you've just basically looked something up on the internet or just went to a store and, and saw one and said, that's cute, and just purchased it and brought it home. And maybe it worked out pretty well and your cat loved it, or Maybe you were a little disappointed because they didn't really give it much attention. So in today's video, I'm going to share a, the closest thing to a surefire way that your cat will end up loving their new kitty condo while actually shopping for one myself because I'm due to get a new one, which is kind of what inspired this video. So stick around and join me and puppy, actually, if you didn't see him, honey. Hey, say hi. Oh, he's purring. He says hello to everybody. Before we get started, you know the most recent drill, and that is to pull from this cat tarot deck. I got this as a gift fairly recently. Um, I'll, I'll put a link. I always put a link in the description and usually in the pinned comment. But how this goes is you are just going to think of a question, any which question you want. It could be something super mild, like whether you should get a certain cat tree or not. It could have to do with relationships or something going on with you personally. Think of that question, really let it sit in the forefront of your mind and allow it to resonate a little bit. Pause this video if you have to. And as soon as I'm done shuffling this deck, we are going to pick the card of the day to hopefully help you navigate which direction you're going to go in terms of your question, whatever it may be. So today's card is, oh, the sun. Look at that belly. Oh my gosh. Do you see how cute these are? Just the artwork itself makes me happy. So the sun upright is what we got today. Let's see what that means in regards to your question. All right, here we have it. The sun. The sun provides a backdrop to the cat on whom it rises and sets. And upright, the cat lies on her back. Let me hold it up so you can see what I'm reading. The cat lies on her back in a gesture of perfect optimism, sure that the universe will offer nothing but belly rubs today. Sunflowers represent a world fertile with the seeds of joy. This card invokes creativity, possibility, and power. No surprise that it's linked to Leo. Like the lion, you are a radiant creature with great hair. So there you have it. That was your card for today, and that was a pretty awesome interpretation of it. I hope that helped you with some insight for your question and, and some pretty enlightening positive insight, it seems like. Okay, so let's start talking about this cat tree, kitty condo situation, and how to make sure that you pick the best one you can for your feline fur baby or multiple fur babies. I wouldn't say these are in any particular order. They're all kind of equally important. But let's start off with how many cats you have, first of all. Unless you are into super spoiling your cat with overabundance, which there's nothing wrong with it if you want to do that. But a single cat doesn't typically need one of those giant six or seven foot tall multi kitty condo cat towers. Just like if you were to have multiple cats, like I would say three or more, then one of those kind of single low level kitty condos or, or cat hammocks, that probably wouldn't cut it. As an example, when it was just, when it was just my OG here, puppy and myself, I got him what ended up being the perfect, just little addition to the house at the time. And it was one of these a uh, single layer cat hammocks with scratching posts on the side. He loved it. It worked out great. He would lay in it every day until he <laughs> didn't anymore like cats do. When his brother Alfred came into our lives, I ended up getting another kitty condo. This one to me seemed like the perfect size for two cats. It was two levels with two cat condo compartments, some scratching posts with a sizzle rope, and also the open bed up top. And that's actually the one that I still have that I'm looking to replace. Currently, and by the way, if you're new here, I have two feline fur babies officially, and that is Puppy and his brother Alfred. And I currently am still caring for the foster mama who claimed me from her feral outdoor life she has been here with one kitten. I still have her. Her name is Betty and her kitten Ronan, who 
is over six months by now, but they have been residing here with us. So I have been living with these four now cats for quite a while. And so that's what I'm going to be considering when seeking out my perfect, we'll just call it a kitty castle, because that's that's pretty much what it's going to end up being at this point. So another thing you want to consider is your cat's age. How old is your cat? Because that correlates typically with how active they are and how much they like to jump and climb on things, which is another thing to consider that kind of aligns with age, but that is the activity level of your cat. Are they younger? Are they full of energy and full of life, like little Ronin and doing sprints all over the place, finding things to play with, liking to scratch, liking to climb? Or are they kind of more chill, which is the role that puppy has taken more and more recently. He's also the oldest, but he is young forever, as they all are. Let's just tell ourselves that. But Puppy, you know, he's not, I mean, he's clearly not a six-month-old kitten. Alfred's kind of in the middle. Alfred's six, and Betty is apparently, according to the vet, somewhere between two and three. I thought she was a year old max, but you know, they can tell from their teeth. So I, I basically have a mishmash of activity levels when it comes to my cats, likely a lot to do with their age, but you also have to consider their, their personalities, their temperaments. And this brings us to the next thing to consider, which is what kind of scratcher is your cat? Most cats, if you notice, they have a preference. They'll either like the horizontal surfaces or horizontal scratch pads, or there are more vertical scratchers. Puppy happens to be more of a horizontal scratcher, and he always has been. He likes those flat scratch pads. He likes the, the homemade flat one that I have a video about from a few months back. He is also a fan of those incline scratch pads, but I never really see him using the vertical ones, and he doesn't ever use the sisal scratch ropes that wrap around the, the poles of the kitty condos. Alfred kind of goes back and forth. He loves scratching posts, and Ronan, the kitten, he'll love and tear up anything vertical. So the scratching posts, and that's one of the reasons why I'm actually replacing this current one. If I haven't already, I'll put in footage here of basically all Ronan's doing, the, the adorable, active, strong, nailed kitten that he is. And Betty as well. She she likes to scratch it all. She, I feel, is more vertical as well. And so that's something I'm definitely going to be considering when it comes to this new cat castle that I'm going to get. By the way, I've done it before, but I was thinking of making a video this time actually repairing the scratching posts instead of buying a whole new kitty condo because I'm probably either going to keep this one or donate it. And it's really easy to repair it if you just get some sisal rope. So if you guys want to see me make a video just on how I do that, then just let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to film it this time. So the next thing that you want to consider is what kind of napper is your cat. For example, puppy is a surface sleeper. He doesn't really like going under things, going in things. He doesn't go in any of the kitty condos we've had, and that's why he loved the hammock so much, because he likes to be on usually the top bed open space part, but that's where his preference is different than Alfred and Betty, for example. They are very, very similar, and they seek out a bunker-type enclosed space to nap or meditate or do whatever they do. Ronin is similar to Puppy in that he also seems to prefer the open spaces on top of the desk, on top of a pillow, on top of the couch. He doesn't really seek out those hidden enclosed spaces either. So those are mostly what to consider when it comes to your cats and what they might get the most advantage out of and benefit from. Of course, as they're human, you got to consider your own preferences as well and the logistics. So one of those things is to measure and make sure that you have the space for it and also the height to see about how high you would prefer to have it wherever it's going to go. Not only that, but you got to consider your aesthetic. If you like lighter colored furniture, if the rest of your furniture is a certain color, there are so many color options that we'll soon see when you search for one with me here in a moment. And this is something else that I would say 
uh, considers your cat's too because you want to consider the color of your cat's fur and how much they shed, what kind of a coat they have. Right now, <laughs> I have basically Oreo cats. I have two white toasted marshmallow floofers, and then I have two dark chocolate little black cats. The cat that sheds the most in my case is Alfred. With the type of hair he has, he sheds all over the place, especially in the summer, which I live in a place where it's summer, it seems like a majority of the year. So there's a lot of shedding happening for that reason. Plus the aesthetic reason and the fact that a lighter colored kitty condo would complement my living space, I'm going to probably opt for a lighter or neutral color. Not to mention if you don't have that much space, Lighter colors are usually a great option because they don't make the place look as small as it would if you were to get some kind of dark furniture happening. And the last thing I'm going to mention to consider, which is also very, very important, is your budget because these things can vary. And unsurprisingly, the single level kitty condos, like the one that I got for Puppy, his hammock, I looked it up. You can see the reviews are really, really good. So I would highly suggest this for anybody who has just one cat. I would also highly suggest that you get your one cat a friend because that was a complete game changer and so worth it when it came to puppy and adopting Alfred. That you could see on Amazon Basics right now is only $27, which isn't bad at all. And the dual kind of mini cat condo that I currently have that I got for puppy and Alfred initially, that one has lasted wonderfully. The only reason it's gotten so torn up just in the last maybe four or five months was because there is a kitten in the house and I'm grateful that he is tearing that thing up and not my furniture or my long dresses in the closet. Oh my gosh, knock on wood because there has been a time or two where I feel like I just caught him before he got his claws into one of my dresses. But that I paid around $63 for and I would say that's well worth it. And just to sum up my preferences from everything we've talked about, I am looking for something lighter colored or neutral colored. I am looking for something pretty tall and I measured out my space and 72 inches or six feet would be perfect, but I can go up to 76 inches. It also definitely needs two enclosed kitty condos for Betty and Alfred, as well as at least one hammock and one open kind of bed on top for Ronan and Puppy. I would prefer it to be basically all scratching posts with the sisal rope on all of the stand pieces just because they will take huge advantage of that and need it. So all of that said, let's hop onto Amazon. If, if you guys know, you know, it's like my default go-to place for, for all kinds of stuff, but yes, yeah, stuff like this. And by the way, they're super, super easy to put together if you've never put one together before because they don't come put together. They come in pieces, but it is very, very easy. Okay, so I have my Amazon open. And I'm just going to type in cat tree. Oh, cat tree for a large cat. If your cat is large, by the way, check out my cat stuff playlist. And if you're new here, welcome. We talk about all kinds of stuff, including stuff like this, but especially feline nutrition, especially raw cat food and how your cat can lead its healthiest, happiest life ever and be with you as long as possible. Plus, of course, things for humans like stress management tips, guided tapping sessions, which are actually coming back next week every week for at least the upcoming year. Real quick before we get into this, I have a huge, huge, huge announcement coming up. I know I've been talking about it for like a month now, but that's because I've been working on it nonstop. I am so excited about this. I'm so proud of it. It's just about being finished up and I'm definitely going to share it with you guys in the next week or two for sure. So if any of that stuff sounds of interest to you, just make sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and the little bell next to it so that you can get notified when new things go up. And also find us on Facebook at Cat Lady Fitness. Okay, back to this cat condo tree search. Oh, the options. So let's narrow stuff down. Oh, this would have been, this is super cute. What is this? Cat tree towers. Oh, look, they made it look like an actual tree. I don't know how I feel about that. This one is too minimalist, not into it. Wow, they, they have so many different kinds. It really does depend on your preference. But okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through real quick and just open tabs of a few that look like they could be possible contenders. So let me do that and then we'll start going through those tabs. Hello. 
everybody. We're back. It has been like 45 minutes. Look at him. He's exhausted. This is how I shop. I don't know if you can relate, but I went through, I opened tabs on at least 10 to 12 of them. Then I kind of went through, looked at certain things, narrowed it down, and I have it narrowed down to one, two, three, four, five, six. I, I might have just cut out like 20 minutes of me going through the ones I, the six that I narrowed down to these three. <laughs> so these are the final three and I want you guys to help me vote for which one you like best, which one you think I should get for Puppy, Alfred, Betty, and Ronan. You have option A, B, and C. Let me show you what I narrowed these down to. This right here is option A. It has the kitty condo, this like cylindrical kitty condo, and two hammocks, that bougie side hammock, this lower hammock, all of these sisal rope posts that you can see, and this model, their model looks just like Alfred. Honestly, this hits all the marks, the right color, the right size. Price though, this one is fairly high compared to the other ones I found. But this we will say is option A. This is option B. I know it looks similar because of the color, but this one has these two soft beds up top. It has these two kitty condos, tons of scratching opportunity. Yeah, 60 inches. So it's 10, 12 inches shorter than what I anticipated. And I'm going to link all of these in the pinned comment, but this is a third option. Look at all these that were here. Honestly, I almost kind of want to knock this option out too. Just the fact that it's just the color. I probably would have chosen this right away if it came in that light gray color that I like. This is a little, seems a little dark, but look at the ropes though. It's basically all scratching posts right through there, all scratching posts right up here, and comes with a bunch of these little toys that will certainly keep Ronan entertained. Has a little ramp. It's not a scratching ramp, but they'll probably scratch it anyway, so still better than my furniture. So I'll leave this one as option C. How tall is this one? About 70 inches. Oh, the the width of the bottom is perfect according to my standards. This is going to be tough. And this one is only $75. But again, the color, I just wish it came in that light gray color because that's really what I was looking for. All right. So one more time. Option A, this guy. Option B, this one. And option C that I just wish was a lighter gray color. So there you have it. Those are the three that I narrowed it down to according to the different considerations and suggestions that we spoke about earlier in this video. I hope this isn't as long as I feel like it's going to be in my head. Puppy is not a very good um, asserter of letting me know. He, I think he likes the sound of me talking. All that said, I hope you found this video helpful when it comes to how to choose the perfect cat tree, kitty castle, kitty condo for your feline fur baby. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think because that will certainly help me out and then of course you will find out which one I choose. Also a side note in case you've missed it, I put up a poll earlier this week on the community tab of our channel here on YouTube. So if you can just go and vote on that tab, it will help me help you so, so much because I'm putting together some big things for the beginning of 2021. Uh, in addition to this awesome thing that I'm so excited to reveal to you guys here in a couple of weeks. All right, guys, it is a beautiful catter day outside here. So I think I've spent enough time searching for cat trees on the interwebs. As always, thank you so very much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.